Hey there, this is Mahmoud Hassan and today I am going to discuss about the code I created for developing Todos application. So the code is in open source. You can find the code in github.com slash Mahmoud Hassan slash flutter underscore Todos. So here you will see the code in the lib directory. You can find all the Dart code and currently I have integrated only the SQLite so you can save data in locally in the device but I am also working to integrate Firebase Firestore uh, data and also Firebase authentication so that if for any user he can log in authenticate using Facebook or Google or even email and next time if he want to uh, use the application in other device then the data will be automatically synchronized I will give you an overview of the code so that you can understand how this kind of application is developed so main.dart is the main program or our entry file so here in the main function I am initiating the todos app widget which is a stateless widget and in the todos app there is a home screen widget is initiating in the home parameter in the material app and this home screen basically a stateful widget so in here you see in the in the opening there is a welcome message and two property to do's and done this is basically two kind of lists so here in the application you are seeing there is to do's this section and there is done so these to do's data coming from this to do's list and this done data coming from this done list so here you are seeing that in the angle bracket there is model dot to do so let's open this model dot to do so if i open this model dot dart file here you will see that i define a model for this data so here the to do class is defined there are some property and uh, there are two function one is to map another is to map auto id so basically when I am saving data from the application to SQLite, I am uh, basically configuring those data to a uh, property. And basically I am modeling those data in terms of Dart. And when I am also retrieving data from SQLite to my application using this uh, mapping function, I can uh, convert those SQLite data to our model object. So that's why I am doing this and here two function because one is to map another is to map auto id so when i am saving data from my application to sqlite i do not need to pass any id because in sqlite the id is auto incremented but if i want that i will provide the id in that case i will use this to map function so now come to the main program again here in the init state i am uh, uh, calling a method get to do and dance and a welcome message utilities get welcome message so let's first see the utilities uh, this class so here you you will find that in utils directory there is utils.dart so i open this file and here basically some utilities function are defined for example here at the top you will see some code this basically used for this pop-up uh, feature the the menus are what type of command will be uh, shown here is defined in this uh, in this utilities at the top then here you will see this a method get welcome message so this me this method i am calling from here that get welcome message so basically based on the time good morning good afternoon or good evening is generated and assigned on that statement and there are some other utilities function like uh, launch url or get platform specific url so basically if i pass two string uh, this function get platform specific url will return that whether it is ios version or android version and there is another utilities function i define here that show custom dialog so here in the in the demo if i click clear done you will see a pop-up a dialog box is showing where there is two button yes and close right so this basically this custom dialog i am using for that purpose so now come to the main uh, dot dart again so here in the stateful widget i am using a uh, scaffold as well and then here you see at the top there is a gesture detector and on that there is a tab function defined where i am calling utils dot height keyboard so again you see that there is a height keyboard uh, method is defined here so why i am doing this 
so suppose if you click this to do in the demo suppose you want to add something and you want to hide the keyboard if you click done and if there is no text the keyboard will hide but in case if you click other of other side like if you click here the keyboard will be hide again so this gesture detector basically detect on that that if you click outside of this text box the keyboard will hide and then i am using in the child as custom scroll view and silver app bar so here at the good morning and this menu this thing are basically defined in the silver app bar widget so uh, and the total custom scroll view so you can just you see that this effect that i can scroll top and then at this case this thing will be hidden if there are many to do's if you just uh, move the scroll this thing at the top the top good morning message or this menu button will be hidden so this thing i define in the sliver app part so here in the sliver list i define three items three widget custom widget one is the task input for adding to do's and the to do section and the done widget there are three widget defined in the sliver list so let's go to the to do section so here you will see that in the to do dot dart i define the functionality for this widget so here this is also a stateful widget and here you will see that if there is any to do uh, then what will be shown if there is no to do for example if there is no task and then there is a blank space is showing here right so this thing is done by this code and when there is a to do i mean there are uh, you add some to do then the what the thing will be happen is coded in this portion and there are some uh, utility method is defined like get task item if you see this this basically called in here get task item so get task item this is uh, responsible for each of this task so how this widget is created you can see here also this uh, color border at the left side is also defined in here there is another widget done widget so done widget basically almost the code is similar to to do widget so if you understand to do widget done widget is almost same it will not be difficult and there is task input so task input widget is created here and for the saving code saving data in SQLite I have created two function uh, two class one is db wrapper another is db dot dart so basically db dot dart is responsible to uh, create and save data to the SQLite database and db wrapper basically uh, is used in the application so that in the application I am using db wrapper and I am just passing some method like to create a to do to update to do or to delete to do and from the db wrapper i am using this db which is the accessing the row level sqlite so later when i am updating my code to uh, firebase integration i am only just integrate that firebase code in the db wrapper so i do not have to uh, access the main application so this is basically for safety if you just use the uh, saving data or this kind of functionality in the main application when you want to update it will be difficult so that's why it's always better to use some kind of wrapper so you call the wrapper method and from the wrapper method actual things is done so if i want to integrate firebase i am just updating the wrapper code i do not have to access the main code so this is the thing and in the db dot dot you can see that how this sqlite thing is working it is very easy and for sqlite you have to install some package so there is if you open the pubspec.yml you will see there is SQL flight this package is implemented here and some other packages like path path provider and i also uh, use some other third party library like url underscore launcher and share this basically when you click in the pop-up menu write a review then url launcher this thing will work and if you click share then this share basically this share library is used for this purpose so I hope this discussion will help you to understand the code behind this to do's application and that's it for today. So thank you for watching.